Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. As for me, I'm doing awesome, amazing. Uh, in my last video, I think you guys uh, have seen about my trekking in Shillong, the bamboo trek. I still have more Shillong trip videos, so I will be posting one of the video today. It's gonna be fun. So keep watching this video actually right now I just came back from office it's around 6 a.m. let me know what time you guys usually sleep and wake up okay because for me it's like totally opposite I sleep I sleep during the day and be awake during the night okay before we get into the video let me first share you another update about my skincare what I do before I go to bed what products do I use and um, yeah how do I take care of my skin I'm gonna show you that let me first remove my jacket I think I need to change this as well I'm gonna remove this okay now I am ready to do my skincare before my bedtime I have shared it with you guys in the past so you might be aware already but yeah I use products from Cure Skin these are the Cure Skin products one is the Cure Skin Cleansing Gel the second is the Moisturizing Cream third is the Sunscreen and fourth is the Anti Acne Gel I will first go and wash my face using this one just take a large amount when I don't wear makeup I use lesser but when I wear makeup because there are more products I need to remove that's why I use more I think my mascara is removed I guess it's gone I've just washed my face oh, the water was so cold but it's good the temperature is rising now I mean it's not that cold anymore so I love the weather these days let me know how is the weather out there <laughs> wherever you are how's the temperature is it still very cold or is it like you know fine all right now I will apply the moisturizer I'm actually not a kind of person who usually do skincare or you know do too much about my skin I do like very rarely but since this your skin came into picture and started using it like properly rigorously and I can see like there is improvement surely an improvement in my skin so I'm like why not continue using it okay and I know you guys you might be asking why sunscreen <laughs> you're not even going out you're about to sleep why sunscreen but yeah this is what I do I do apply sunscreen even when I'm at home sunscreen helps a lot because it can even help you in anti-aging and all for me usually it, I do have this acne scars and all in my forehead but it's actually vanishing it I think but I still do have some I guess I'll just apply it only in those spots where I have this acne mark I apply there only that is it that's how I do it I am ready to go to bed now but yeah I'll just tell you guys about this how you can get one for yourself as well because the good thing about this uh, your skin is that they curate products according to your skin type they don't just send it randomly they will first analyze your skin so they have they have this app where you just need to go and you know click your picture and fill up the forms your your routine and what type of products you use you just need to fill those up answer those and as your picture is clicked it it analyzes your skin and then if you have any problems it just detect it so it's easier for the dermatologist to analyze your skin and you know understand your skin type and accordingly your products is curated and it is sent over to you for me it was like I had some small small open pores and I had this acne mark so accordingly they send this product so if you have other type of skin problems your products that is sent to you may be different okay I'm just letting you know in this app what's best is that it is really time saving and convenient because everything is done from the app it is also affordable because they only charge for the product okay for the skin treatment dermatologist appointment uh, the follow-up the 
uh, diet plan all for all of this they do not take a single penny they are being only charged for the product and yeah I also have a special code for you guys uh, where you can get an additional discount of what rupees 100 you can use my code NEMY100 and what else yeah I will leave the link and code in the description and also in the comment section so do check it out and yeah the code is available for the first 50 customers only so hurry up and go and use the code now now we will go into the video enjoy the video let's go i wake up to a little bit of the location yes where is this <laughs> oh it's changed this is where we enter the elephant falls let's go down and see <laughs> we have Shilpa wearing it we even have Sonia Gandhi wearing it I look like I, I went to the Eskimos, Eskimos. <laughs> it started raining now so I just just took over I, come on come on no, no, no. View who knows all know. Last time I went, it was 2014, 14 maybe, or 15, 2015 maybe. I am back after many, many years. And the weather changed suddenly. Yeah, it was sunny in the morning. Now it's cloudy. Uh, oh, this, oh, this is the falls actually. This is from top. And it will, we will be able to see it from down now. Just in case you guys are wondering why this place is called an elephant fall, it was during the British era when an Englishman found a giant rock that looked like an elephant near this fall, so they call this place an elephant fall. The rock has been destroyed now back in 1897 due to an earthquake. Yes, I look up this information from Google. A lot of people are taking pictures just like us. So how is it guys? How is this fall? of India they have they are blessed with so many beautiful waterfalls caves so many places to visit everything everywhere you look is a beauty they are making it to make it convenient for people they made the stairs out there as like we were walking down they have stairs and even over here I think they're so that we can get more view and see this he, he's cleaning the place the place is very neat and tidy they maintain everything so clean and so beautifully and here are my friends
in the first one. We came walking up the stairs. Now I'll show you the first waterfall. This is the one. This is the first elephant fall waterfall. This is the first one. Kasi traditional attire. In case you want to see. This is the traditional attire. Just Hara and the other one. What is the meal outfit called? What is the meal outfit called? You mean you don't have the name? I just know that the female one is called Hara. Right? That's nice. Let's go. Look at the weather. Oh my god. It's so good. Zona Hunga, come here, yo. Weather normal. So, yes, that was the Elephant Falls. We have checked it out. There's nothing much to look, but I'll just show you how it is outside. There are stalls if you can, in case you want to buy all the handcrafted items in case you want to eat or anything like that. These are the stalls. <laughs> It's all still till there, and these are place for parking. So how is Elephant Hill? Huh? Not bad. Not bad. That huh? means you are not that impressed. Yeah. <laughs> because you've seen better. <laughs> Maybe I'll get one for Dolo. Nah. Uh, Let's take the place that we went. Nah. That's pretty much about uh, this place. But the weather is so good, see? Yeah. All of us are done. Was it like this the whole day or what here? No, because it's raining. No, because, but in the morning it was it was sunny, right? Yeah. But yeah, this is Elephant Falls and I'll end the vlog when I reach home. I'm already tired, I can't even talk that much but I have to be energetic in the video. <laughs> That's it for the Elephant Falls vlog. Thank you for taking us. I hope you guys like the place. It is very beautiful actually. Uh, and it is near from the city as well. So you can visit if you ever come to Shillong. Because the distance is not far. Not how far. It's, it will take like how many minutes from Shillong? Four kilometers. Four? Bus? Only about four kilometers. So it's very very near. That's why I think we have lots of people, na, tourists out here because it's very near, just like Wards Lake. It's, yeah, it's Lake. near, it's near. So Shillong uh, Elephant Falls is also near, but it's a good place, so you should visit. We are trying out a Kasi food, the special food. They have, they have put almost everything, the special thali. This is the green mint, I think, mint chutney. And this is um, Trumbai, which is a yeah, fermented bean. This is uh, dog clay, dog clay miam, dog jam, salad, and this is pork, and this is beet, um, uh, meatballs. <laughs> this pork balls. <laughs> Not pork ball. Pork means ball. There's pork slice. There's a mixed pork ring. Mm. There's salad. There's aloo. There's mixed veg. Mm. There's a mint chutney. There's dal fry. There's mixed cooked black pill. There's a pork ring. There's kasi special the dog fried rice. The dog fried rice. It's very yen, very very yummy this one. And this is my that in that plate this one is missing tuta because my friend over here she don't like she can't eat tuta actually. And yeah the same the same thing we are getting all of us. We took this this kasi dish special so let's enjoy. Hi. Hi. <laughs>
Dot Jam right now. You should try it out. It's very healthy, full of protein. <laughs> this is the fermented fish. Mm. Yum. We have reached our room and we got this. This. You see this? It's kwai. It's very important. This is the Kasi tradition. It's the be betel nut. Uh, it's been going on since a very long time. They have this tradition that whenever you go to every Kasi house, you will see them uh, having this basket of um, this kwai. It's a tradition that they offer this one first whenever people go to their place. So it's very, very common over here. I cannot go back without trying this. I will try now. Okay. I did not eat, not even once this time. Not him. Mm -hmm. I will eat now. Saving it for the last. So this is Mr. Beetle. This one is coconut. Coconut. Beetle. Mix them. And then... Um. <laughs> That's it for today's video. I hope you like it. If you like the video, Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe now. And see you next time. Bye!